Now, your WCBX Pinpoint Weather with Chief Meteorologist Jordan Dressman. Well, a beautiful afternoon with plenty of sunshine, but still temperatures failed to warm up. We only saw 64 today in Arab and Albertville, Huntsville International and Florence each did make it into the lower 70s. They saw 71 in average for this time of year at around 79 or 80 degrees. A few clouds began to move into the Tennessee Valley just before the sunset, and that yielded this fantastic photo from Lisa over in Guntersville. She actually texted me this weather photo, and you can text me your weather photos as well. The number's right there on your screen, 256-382-2692. You don't have to send me just your weather photos, but you can send your weather questions as well, and I'll make sure I give you a personal response. Pinpoint Viper really not looking all that bad for the time being. We are nice and quiet across all of North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee, but I expect that's going to change. Here's future cast 10 o'clock this evening. We're still dry and not completely overcast just yet, but through the overnight early into your Friday morning, notice how that widespread precipitation really begins to move into the Tennessee Valley. Some of that rain could be heavy at times. If you're heading out the door on your morning commute on Friday, 7, 8, 9 o'clock, maybe just allow yourself a couple of extra minutes. It could be a bit slow going in those pockets of heavier rainfall. Becomes a little more scattered through the lunch hour. Now this rainfall is associated with a cold front. Cold front moves through during the middle part of the afternoon through the earliest part of the evening. Now I do expect there could be a couple of isolated thunderstorms just ahead of that cold front. Nothing severe, just some thunder, lightning, and maybe some gusty winds. Once we get to the evening, we're going to begin to quiet things down and we're really going to quiet down through the overnight. We're also going to clear our skies out in grand fashion. Plenty of sunshine when you wake up early on Saturday morning. We're going to hold on to that trend through Saturday afternoon as another area of high pressure begins to move into the Tennessee Valley. Now, as far as additional rainfall is concerned, not going to be the biggest rainmaker. Most of us looking at about a quarter to a half an inch locally, I think will be close to three quarters of an inch of rain. Really our only opportunity for rain in the immediate future. We stay dry through the weekend and even through the earliest part of next week. Fantastic news if you need to give your car a bath. We're gonna stay cool tomorrow. Temperatures only finishing the day in the upper 50s and lower 60s. If we only see the upper 50s and lower 60s at Huntsville International, we would actually break a record. We would break the record for the lowest high temperature. That currently stands at 63 at Huntsville International. It currently stands at 60 over in Muscle Shoals. Friday night, Saturday morning, temperature's really going to fall off. I've got lows dropping down into the mid and upper 30s. Some of the traditionally cold spots, could dip down into the lower 30s. 60 on Saturday afternoon, 39 Sunday morning, 68 on Sunday afternoon. I thought I'd leave you with a fun little stat. On Christmas of 2019, the high temperature was 66 degrees. The forecast for Mother's Day is right around 68 degrees. Have a good look at the next seven days. We're going to stay chilly through at least the immediate future, 67 on Monday, 65 on Tuesday. We do finally warm up through the middle and later part of next week. So look at your forecast. Here's